Hello you are watching the opera show. Our guest today is Revival Center Fellowship International Church Pastor and Founder, Lloyd Wrongfield. Well it is your pleasure for having me, Little Missy Opera. With your curls. It is good to be here and there is much I need to say. Why the urgency Mr. Wrongfield? We are very keen to find the last person. To be saved we need to get him filled and thrilled with the Holy Spirit tongue speaking power, so Jesus can return to meet us in the air, before smashing shit up. It is very overdue. That is very exciting. Do you think he would like to come on my show for some free publicity? Every knee shall bow, and every eye shall see him. They certainly will if he comes on my show. Listen here girly. With your curls, you will be too busy weeping and gnashing your teeth as your soul is destroyed in hell. My soul does not have teeth to gnash. Teeth will be provided. How delightful. Are you so sure you won't be going to hell yourself? I do not sin. But surely you. I do not sin. But? I do not. But? No sin. Well well Mr. Wrongfield. You sure are cocky for an insane old dude. See here girly. With your curls, have some respect, because I have formed a perfect church with the Holy Ghost and fire. How does one make a perfect church? We kick out the sinners. You kick out all the sinners. That's a hard line Mr. Wrongfield. We kick out the sinners who have had sexy fun times. And all the people said. Excuse me. What? No prodigal sons in revival. Fornicators can go. Adulterers can go. People who watch Underbelly and Californication can go. We let the masturbators stay. But not, if they circle jerk. Our motto is, if you rub uglies together we will rub you out of the book of life. You will rub them out. I will rub everyone out, if I have to. Wow, you are really out of touch with reality aren't you? Listen girly, with your curls, I am of the white British Israel line and we know a thing or two. My great 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 grandfather was Jesus' brother, I think, and his great grandfather was King David and his uncle was Noah who was of course Adam's son. We own this planet and we will kick out the naughty sinners, and create a perfect church for our God. The bridegroom wants a perfect bride and I will put on my best dress for him. Too much information. You are a strange nasty old man. Listen here worldly person, my people, the lost tribes of Israel survived the Midianites, the Canaanites, the Vegemites, the Russian Jews, the Prussian Jews. And now all of the white people, who were once Jews from Israel are scattered abroad, and taking over the world. Ha 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 ha. I am sorry you are black, but God still loves you, and won't kill you, when you follow the revival doctrine. You sound racist Mr. Wrongfield. Oh I'm no racist. I hate everybody. Everyone, except revivalists who are not filthy fornicating sex sluts. Some your church is a cult that uses fear, guilt and social conditioning to keep your members in conformity. Ha ha ha, yes I've heard that before. Do you deny it? No I've just heard it before. Others say your doctrine was invented by men with no theological training. We believe in inspiration over education. Have you not heard that ignorance is bliss? Do you not believe the Bible is infallible? Listen girly, with your curls, I did not become an expert at pyramidology and British Israelism and gibberish without becoming a self-taught Bible expert first. I see. How did you come to know the perfect truth a wise Papa Smurf? You see. There are many interpretations and interpolations, but unless you are given the magical Holy Spirit power of speaking gibberish nonsense, to decode it then you will only fail. Sir, does the Bible say you must speak in tongues to be saved? Not in so many words, but we think that is very much implied, when you read it upside down, while patting your tummy, and holding your tongue the right way. Hmm. Pastor Lloyd thank you for your time. That is all. And there ain't no more. And thank God for that.